To date this year, 27 police officers have died from gunfire in the line of duty, two of which took their own lives, and 192 have been injured by gunfire. Here are five such incidents from the past week. Let's start in Maricopa, Arizona, where we have a officer that was injured and our suspect, an adult male who was killed. Uh, three people breaking into vehicles, caller followed them, one fired at and hit an officer, second officer Shot the suspect. The shooting happened in the on the Gia River Indian Reservation. FBI are investigating. All right, let's see what we got. A suspect is dead, and a police officer is recovering after a shooting early Wednesday in the city of Maricopa around 1:30 a.m. Someone called 911 to report that three people were breaking into cars in a neighborhood. Uh, the reporting party was following these individuals for a period of time until they were threatened with a firearm. As officers arrived. Um, at the scene, they saw three people breaking into cars nearby. They then ran off. A teenage boy was quickly taken into custody, while the other two suspects climbed over a wall and ran into nearby fields. Officers chased the suspects, and that's when the police say one of the suspects opened fire, hitting one of the officers. The second officer returned fire, hitting one of the suspects. The officer who was shot was taken to the hospital with a non-life-threatening injury and is reported in stable condition. The suspect died on the way to the hospital. The third suspect was, wasn't in, injured and was arrested shortly after the shooting occurred. So this, is, this just goes to show that every time these guys go out on a call, any of them could turn into a life or death incident. I mean, this they were just chasing these guys and these kids decided that they were gonna fire on the police officers. They didn't have to. They could have just kept running, but instead they decide that they're going to shoot at the police officers and cost one of their one of them their lives, and the other one is now in jail. All right, let's go to Canton, Ohio, where we have an officer that was injured, and we got two suspects in this one, both unharmed and arrested, 22-year-old Braylon Smallwood and 21-year-old Trez John Allen. Trez John Okay, two people are behind bars after a Canton police officer was grazed by a bullet Thursday night, but not seriously injured after shots were fired during an investigation. Officers have since taken both suspects identified by police as Braylon Smallwell, Smallwood and Trey's John Allen into custody. The men are charged with attempted murder, felonious assault on a police officer, and discharging a firearm on or near a prohibited premises. Allen is additionally charged with having weapons under disability and participating in a criminal gang, Canton police say. The shooting happened at 12th Street Northwest and Logan Avenue just before 6 p.m. Uh, one of the officers had minor injuries and was treated on the scene. The other officer was unharmed. Stark County Jail officials say both suspects were waiting to be booked in on Friday, the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation says the agency was asked to assist at the scene. So we have two guys here and that, you know, you fire at the police and now they're getting attempted murder charges, felonious assault on a police officer and discharging a firearm. I mean, I don't know what these guys think when they start shooting at a police officer because when you fire on a police officer... The charges are higher than if you if you fire on just a normal person. So these guys, you know, they didn't want to get taken in, I guess, and now they're going to be in jail for a lot longer than they otherwise would have been. All right, we got this one. We got 25-year-old Deputy Samuel Yates, and he was injured. And our suspect, 37-year-old Ramon Martinez, he was killed. And this looks like it happened during a carjacking. Um... A deputy was shot and a suspect killed after a shootout in Central Florida early Friday morning. Deputies in Highlands County initially attempted to stop a vehicle for running a stop sign. Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd, love that dude, says the vehicle then continued to travel into Polk County. Highlands County deputies were going to cancel the traffic stop, but were then alerted by a 911 call that a female hostage may be inside the vehicle. Um... Following the chase, the vehicle eventually got stuck near Scenic Highway at T.S. Wilson Road and Frost 
proof. Uh, the suspect, who was eventually shot and killed, 37-year-old Raymond Martinez, was found to be the passenger of the vehicle, according to Judd. Judd also says it's believed that Martinez was forcing the woman to drive the vehicle during the chase. Martinez, who was still in the vehicle at the time, told deputies that he had two guns on him and that he needed water. Martinez continued to refuse to exit the vehicle, but eventually let the woman go. Sheriff Judge said Martinez then attempted to flee the scene in the same vehicle at, that got stuck. Chemical agents were deployed, which led to Martinez to fire his weapon and strike 25-year-old Polk County Deputy Samuel Yates in the shoulder. Deputy Yates was trauma lifted to a nearby hospital. His injuries were non-life-threatening. And he's in excellent condition. Deputies then fired multiple rounds back, killing Martinez. So these guys, some of these guys, they must have some kind of death wish because when you fire at multiple police officers, you know they're going to return fire. And if you don't know they're going to return fire, then, I mean, you get what you get. Because, I mean, this guy, he could have just, I mean, he could have just, I don't know, they don't want to get taken in. But, you know, he takes off and you don't have to fire at the police. And when you do, you know, that one ended up not ending so well for the guy. All right, so let's now go to Portland, Oregon, where we have a law enforcement officer. Actually, two law enforcement officers were injured in this one. And we have two suspects, 32-year-old Tyler Scott and 46-year-old Joseph Schaefer. Let's see what these guys did. Two Clackamas County. Clackamas. What a, that's a weird name to call it. Clackamas County. Deputies are recovering from gunshot wounds suffered as they were responding to a burglary call Friday morning. The Clackamas County Sheriff's Office says deputies responded to the call just after 7 a.m. and an officer involved shooting occurred near Southeast Johnson Creek Boulevard and Southeast Bell Avenues. The Clackamas County Sheriff's Office says deputies responded to the burglary call. Um, according to a Friday afternoon release, the deputies found two men at the scene, and while attempting to arrest them, one suspect drew a pistol and began firing. Both deputies were hit, and one returned fire, however. Neither suspect was hit, according to the Clackamas County Sheriff, um, Angela Br Brandenburg. One deputy was struck in the arm, and the other deputy was struck in the ballistics vest and abdomen. Uh, let's see what else we got. Both suspects were identified as Tyler Scott of Portland and Joseph Schaefer of Southeast Portland. They were taken into custody and by additional responding deputies minutes later. Scott and Schaefer are currently lodged at the Clackamas County Jail and are expected to be charged and arraigned on Monday. A uh, woman who lives in the area, then it goes on to a bunch of other stuff. So again, these guys, you know, all of these calls, anytime a police officer goes out on a call, there is a chance that they're going to either not come home or get hurt. Okay, so I got one more story for you out of Taos, New Mexico, and the law enforcement officer was injured and the male suspect was also injured and it says the suspect is not likely to survive. Taos Police Department officer was shot at least once during an exchange of gunfire with a suspect at a busy intersection in Taos on Saturday. We do, not, we do have an officer shot. He is breathing, conscious, awake, a female officer reported uh, at 2.30 p.m., adding that the officer had a gunshot wound to the upper left shoulder and the right shoulder. The shooting happened opposite Johnny's Barber Shop. Um, in the midst of a busy Fourth of July weekend, vehicles were backed up for blocks, uh, roadway construction area prior to the incident. Drivers are being diverted from the area. Town of Taos uh, released a statement shortly after saying the suspect will likely succumb to his injuries. The New Mexico State Police posted an update on Twitter at 5.30 p.m. indicating the shooting involved Taos PD and Taos Tribal and stating that the wounded officer is in stable condition. We have one of two officers injured that were involved in the incident and a suspect that will likely succumb to his injuries. The town of Taos will provide further information, will provide, not provide further information at this time. The officer and the suspect were both transported to the hospital. And that's basically it on that story. So that's another one where the, the guy just 
you know, got in a shootout with the police. And the officer sounds like uh, he's going to be okay, was hit in the upper shoulder, uh, both shoulders. And uh, the suspect is likely not going to survive. And like I said at the beginning of this video, 25 officers have died in the line of duty just from gunfire alone. And 192 have been injured just from gunfire alone. These were five of the stories, uh, five of those 192.